This person is not a surgeon, but the profession that they represent is a huge part of thousands of lives saved every year, and you've probably never even heard of it. Now you may not know this about me, but I actually used to work on cardiothoracic surgery and I've done 10 stenotomies independently, meaning I've opened the chest to reveal the beating heart underneath. And sometimes we'd have to do fine work on that. So we'd have to stop the heart to be able to do so. But how, if we're doing this or someone's doing a double lung transplant, do we then keep the patient alive while doing it? The heart lung bypass machine. It temporarily takes over the function of both by oxygenating the blood, short circuiting the heart and then pumping it over to the rest of the body's tissues. But as you can see, operating this machine is no game of Nokia snake. It's complicated and requires moment to moment adjustment, which is why we need the profession that you saw at the start, an unsung hero, the perfusionist. Have you heard of them? 